to Fanboy Friday. It's December 4th. And as always, before we get to the topic for the day, let's talk about what's going on in the stew house. Michelle took the boys to the park where they actually met up with our friend who has a daycare that Logan goes to a couple times a week. And overall, both boys had a really good day. Yeah, and nothing else really to report. Definitely happy that today's Friday. Looking forward to the weekend. Uh, gonna get to hang out with some of my friends to watch the third of the original trilogy of Star Wars, Return of the Jedi. Not my favorite, but I haven't seen it in probably a decade or more. So gonna watch that on Saturday night. <sighs> don't really know what else to do on the weekend. I think we're going to be putting up Christmas lights as well, which we've never done at this house, so uh, that's exciting. Michelle's dad is going to come over to help, thankfully, so we'll see if we get it all done. Maybe we'll put the tree up as well. We've got two fake trees. I think we're only going to use one of them. Uh, we bought one last year after Christmas had gone by, and it was like 70% off, so it was like a steal. So looking forward to actually breaking that one out for the first time, and I think the lights are actually embedded in the tree, so you don't even have to worry about that. And you know, I had an interesting conversation with Michelle a little while ago, too, about the fact that when I grew up, we had Hanukkah in the house because my father was uh, Jewish. Uh, we had Christmas in the house. My mom was raised Unitarian, I think, or Episcopal. Yeah, my mom was raised Unitarian, but she herself more leaned towards Wiccan. And so we had everything going on in the house. We had almost every single holiday as it went by, which I think was a great way to grow up. I grew up kind of understanding multiple different religious faiths, multiple different holidays. So I'm wondering if we're gonna do the same thing, but you know, when I grew up as well, I went to Hebrew school uh, and then I chose to stop going or you know, stop following that faith, but we're not doing that with Liam or Logan. Uh, we're not gonna enroll them into any sort of religious schooling when they're old enough and they can understand what those religions are and they choose to follow a particular faith that is totally up to them i will support them in whatever choice they make but for us i feel it's really a better way to go is to let them grow into it to let them actually learn about it when they understand the concepts because or my opinion is that if you put a child into religious school when they're really young you put them into kindergarten they be and they're doing that all the way through high school they've never learned anything different they've just been told this is the way it is and this is what their family does and it's just so from whatever age they identify as christian jewish hindu muslim whatever but it's really not their choice it's not their religion it's the religion of the parents me being an atheist i'm not going to push that on either of the boys i'm not going to push any religion on them and when they grow up if they choose to be something else that is completely within their realm of decision making and like i said i'll be behind them 100 percent. if they want to be christian go for it they want to be jewish go for it they want to be hindu go for it i don't care as long as they're happy and they're good people and they're good to other people what more can you ask for but the reason why i brought that up is because i don't know when we'll start showing those other holidays like obviously we've got a tree this year we're putting up christmas lights you know uh i don't know when logan will be old enough to understand if i put a menorah out and say like this is what that means and this is what this means and this is what that means he's not there yet he's only two and a half so not sure probably in the next couple years we're also thinking about enrolling him in preschool really soon, uh, so we'll see how that goes. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So yeah, now on to the Fanboy Friday topic this week, which is David Tennant. Now, I've said before that Matt Smith is my favorite doctor, by just a little bit. But David Tennant is an amazing actor, and yes, I did definitely discover him through Doctor Who. But when I find an actor that I really like, I generally try to look back through their catalog of stuff and just watch other things that they're doing, going backwards in their career and also keeping an eye out forwards. So I started looking into other things that Tennant had done before that, and of course was blown away when realizing I had seen Tennant before in Harry Potter as Crouch's son which when I watched it again, I was like, oh my God, there he is. And of course, presently, David Tennant is actually on two incredibly amazing shows. First off, Jessica Jones. He's the main villain, and that's awesome because I haven't gotten to see him play a villain yet. Well, he crouches someone as a villain, but he was really barely there and he wasn't the villain. But yeah, Jessica Jones, he is the purple man, and that's pretty awesome. Michelle and I have just started watching that. I think we're about three episodes in. Really enjoying that. But even more exciting, at least for us, because we've already seen the first season and we're totally hooked on it, is Broadchurch. That's another BBC show. Show. David Tennant is the lead. He's a detective investigator who has a number of problems and he's embroiled in a series of cases. The first season deals with one particular case while he's got a history of a case that somehow got messed up before. And now the second season is the first case going to trial and the second case that he screwed up somehow before is coming back to haunt him. And so right now I'm just doing, you know, dual lanes of David Tennant and I couldn't be happier. This is the kind of television I love and I love just seeing amazing actors. 
And I'm going to be sad when we binge our way through both of those shows and there's nothing else to do. There's no more Tenant to get. So if you haven't seen David Tennant in any of those shows, you should definitely check them out, probably in this order. Doctor Who, Broadchurch, Jessica Jones. And that's all for today's vlog. Hope you guys have an amazing weekend. Stay tuned for this Sunday's episode of The Motley Stew Show. And as always, until then, be good to each other.